come on over, we'll help you out, you know, because it was a family type of environment that I always grew up in. And so that is how I got to know most of the girls who were a part of the conspiracy. And, um, and so I met Jacob through them and we would, I would hang out with Jacob through them. Uh, and so, I mean, Jacob, we would like hang out with, I would go to his house and hang out. And at the time when I first met him, I was six, I was probably just turning 16. And, and during that time with his music, he had, he was a club promoter. And so I would go out to clubs with them and I'll, and at the time I was 16 and I just figured, you know, I'm hanging out with older people, 24, 25 and older. I'm just having fun. I get to hang out with older people and, you know, my parents think it's okay because I'm with people who they know who live with them or who have lived with them. And so I would hang out with them and go to parties, liquor and all that is was a lot. And so that is how I initially was introduced to Jacob. And so I, when I found out about the South Beach trip, it was through my sister, Layla, Layla Martinez, and she was going to go. She decided not to go, but my father told me I could still go because another young lady who um, lived at our house, her name was um, Sarah Cole, she was going, and my father trusted her, and so he said, sure. You know, go ahead. And also, my brother was going. His name's uh, Kush Martinez or Kush Muhammad. He was going as well. And so my father figured, you know, there would be people there who he trusted for me to be around. And so that is how I was initially um, invited onto the South Beach trip. But um, prior to that, even at Jacob's house, there were conversations about um, maybe stating that the master teacher, Dr. Malakazi York, was in uh, child molestation or pedophilia. And very, I wasn't around for full conversations. They were very wishy-washy about having me around. They weren't really sure why I stood. And so at the house, before the trip, I wasn't really privy to many conversations, but I knew about them, heard tidbits, but wasn't around for full-fledged conversations until we got to the South Beach trip. Um, there were a lot of a lot of young people who grew up in the community, who grew up on the land that went on the trip that eventually left the land. And we all met up at Jacob's house. There was a conversation there about uh, setting, setting uh, the master teacher up and who would say what or who could get what person to say this or that. And that is how they kind of introduced me into the conversation. Um, and so we went on the trip and while in South Beach, there was clubbing, it was liquor, it was sex, it was a lot going on in the hotel. We had hotel rooms. Um, I can't remember which hotel it was, but I know it was in South Beach. Um, just different conversations about who can get what person who they figured was a, a key individual, so to speak, to say that this happened to me or I know this happened to that person or could get someone to say that they were molested. Um, that was a ba the basis of a lot of the conversations that were going on. And um, at the time, I was it was May 2001 so I was 17 and so I was being introduced to um, just a lot of things that I know people my age who I hung out with when I did hang out with people my age we didn't really indulge in those type of things but I knew I could get that if I was hanging out with Jacob he was very and he even called me his drinking buddy at one point he said that to one of his artists yeah, that's my drinking buddy right there. He put it in the thank you, the artist album, which I found odd. Um, so even on the trip, and that was something that baffled me as well, that he would try to get people to say they were molested or he was trying to molest this individual when he was trying to push me 
to have sex with other people on the trip and even told other people, well, why don't you do this or that with her? And at the time, I, that's not something that I was doing or could do. And so he, he said, you know, you know, there's more than one way to please a man. That was something that he said to me personally. So that was something that I found odd. But at the time, I wasn't in a place where I knew a lot of people who were still a part of the community. And so I had no one to turn to for him to push me on people or even push himself on me. Like if I was afraid to tell anybody because I just figured, you know, nobody would believe me and things of that nature. And so that was a lot of what was going on in the trip. And even something that the Brother Basil mentioned about the house. It was the same house that I would visit all the time and spend the night. And we would actually, he had a three bedroom house. One room was occupied, one wasn't. But whenever we spent the night, um, me or whoever else who wasn't living at the house at the time spent the night, we slept in Jacob's room. We didn't sleep in the other room that wasn't occupied. It was in Jacob's room. And so that, that, at that point in time, was all, that, something that was altered house to become, uh, he, this was his word, a halfway house for girls who would leave the land, move into his home for rehabilitation. And, but, if you, if you weren't sleeping with him, which was an undercurrent, which we all knew and which was also said, if you weren't sleeping with him, you couldn't live there. That was something that was very known was said. If you weren't sleeping with Jacob, you couldn't live there. And so that was something also that was discussed of trying to turn his home into a halfway house. And so... Um, Sex was pushed on me, was attempted to be pushed on me during the South Beach trip. And um, it was pushed before we left, during the trip, after the trip, on the way home. And that was pretty much how I was introduced to everything. They tried to get, he tried to get me to say that on the land that wouldn't have been possible. I wasn't in a community in New York. I was from Philadelphia. I didn't live in the Philadelphia community and I didn't live on the property. And so that wasn't feasible. So it wasn't able for, for that to happen. But you know, at the time, I was 16, 17 years old. And this at, his, at the time when I met him, he was 28. This 28 year old man is trying to get me at 16 to, with the, I mean, I'm, I'm a, I don't know how else to put it. I can't put it too delicately because it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to understand, but basically prostitute myself and sleep with these other men at 16 and 17 years old when I wasn't even sexually active at that time. So that was how I was introduced to the whole conspiracy and how I, what I know and um, basically things that, and to just popped in my head. It's Derek Cole, who was, a, who was and is a very good friend of mine. They tried to, before the South Beach trip, they came to her and said, well, we're trying to make this case against the MST, um, against Dr. York. They won't call him MST, but Dr. York. And so we need you to say that you brought girls to him or you were molested by him. And she said, well, I can't say that. That never happened to me. I just want to, you know, be me. And, and that, that never happened. I can't say that something happened when it didn't happen and then May 8th comes and I found out that she was indicted as well 